Good morning everyone. This is the daily devotional video for today, Sunday, August 7th, 2016. And the passage we're reading today is in the book of John. <coughs> Excuse me. John chapter 13. And we're reading verses 13 through 16 today. So John 13, chapter 13, verses 13 through 16. All right. You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an, an example that you should do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who, who is sent greater than he who sent him. You got a compliment. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, please forgive me. Okay. The title for this devotional is Godly Servanthood. When you hear the word servant, does anybody immediately spring to your mind? Perhaps you recall an extraordinarily helpful salesman or that wonderful lady at church who always takes care of every detail. Godly servants are all around us, but sadly we often take them for granted. This is a tragedy that we need to correct, not only for their sake, but for our own as well. You see, I firmly believe that the faithful service of righteous men and women will bring untold blessings to those whom they serve. For instance, Joseph's story reveals a consistent thread Wherever he was, the people he served prospered. <coughs> Potiphar was certainly not a God-fearing man. Yet even he recognized that prosperity came to him because of his slave. That's Genesis uh, chapter 39, verses 2 through 6. A second Old Testament illustration is Daniel, whose service to Babylonian kings included interpreting vision. That's in Daniel um, chapter 2, chapter 4, and chapter 5. In both examples, powerful leaders were blessed by the actions of their servants. And more than that, they came away with an awareness of the living God. They also participated in the young men's success by offering them increased responsibilities and greater opportunities to serve. That's in uh, Genesis 39, 1 through 6, Daniel 2, 46 through 48, and Daniel 5, 29. Find the people in your life who have the gift of godly service. Spend time with them, serving and working together for God's glory. If you turn your nose up at someone doing servant work, you'll cut yourself off from a relationship that can change your life. Instead, run toward those people, stand beside them and ask, how can I participate in serving with you? I, I think it's very, um, came in for the door, so I'm thinking, but it's like, I think it's, it's so critical of, of everyone to know this to people that are unnoticed, you know, um, the janitor who sweeps up the floors, and you know, the guy that makes sure the chairs are, are clean and ready for the for the service or for the meeting, and the people who who 
uh, spent the entire day making snacks and, and refreshments for meetings and for church services and people who, you know, clean up after everyone's gone. And it's the people that are the least noticed that need to be the most noticed by us. And we need to go beside them and say, how can I help? What can I do? Because they can teach us so much about being a servant and just serving and giving of ourselves, not expecting a big thank you or something in return or just doing it because you love God and you love the people and you want to give, you want to serve. And we can learn so much from those people. Um, I hope these videos are a blessing to you. I hope they encourage you and inspire you in your walk with God. And I hope that this isn't the only time that you hear God's word. I hope that you make an effort to find a church in your area that preaches from the Bible, that preaches God's word, because that's the only truth that you can really depend upon. Um, I hope you connect, connect with Christian friends and, and um, have people you can go to and talk to about about godly things and talk about your struggles and I hope that you can um, make time for God every day because he really does love you so much. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded. If you have a prayer request, send it to the email address down in the description box. Um, I always put the title of the devotional in the title of the video and I always put the passage that we read we say, I put that down in the description box below. And if you want to read a devotion yourself, follow along with me, read them with me. Um, I'll put the information down below of how to access them online down below as well. So, have a blessed day. I love you all. And, goodbye for now.